high level demo of Centro's Experience Cloud component where it is a linked Slack channel or, or dynamically linked Slack channels um, tied to Experience Cloud pages and Salesforce records. So here we are in a home page. I'll be logged in as Hannah today. And um, I'm welcome to my um, landing page and I see that I have a Slack um, conversation going about my account. And this is capturing the entire account history. And I can always review it and we can see there's multiple t people supporting me on the other side of this, um, of, of this uh, Slack channel. And if I post a message here, um, we'll say, help my team member can't log in. I will post um, in two places. Uh, one is the Salesforce record that's attached to this account, and I'll show that in a second, um, as well as the connected Slack channel. So the, the reps and agents supporting this person can see it in wherever they like to work. Um, but they can do things like uh, emojis. Um, they can do things like uh, upload files and send them straight to the Slack channel. Um, so a lot of capability right for the community uh, or experience cloud user. Now on the other side of this, we'll see that um, <clears throat> we have an account here that is tied to this conversation. And this is our channel with um, that was exposed on the experience cloud site. And this is a real time um, <clears throat> chat engine backed by Slack. So is I the agent from Salesforce can say, we're on it, please create a case. Hannah will see that on her side of the um, chat window. And in this case, uh, Hannah does not need a Slack license in order to post it. We are doing that on behalf of her using Centro. And we're grabbing her uh, profile details as an experience cloud member and passing them through to the Slack channel. So if we were to go look at that in Slack, again, the agents can live wherever they want to. If they're, they live their day in Slack, no problem. They can see those notifications and respond to it right from Slack. Happy to help. And all of this is um, linked back up to the record on the Salesforce page. And um, we keep everything nice and tidy between all three experiences. Okay, now um, Hannah will log a case. So let's switch back to here. We'll go to the cases page. And here she'll create a case and say, my team can't log in. And that's on the back end going to do a few things. It's going to create the case creating a new Slack channel and associate it to the case. Actually, it's going to be a threaded discussion against the main account. I'll show that here in a second. But when Hannah goes to the case, she's welcome to a threaded discussion that is happening right here um, in Slack on the, on the main uh, account page. So all of that is tied together. So help my teammate. Again, the bi-directional works as expected and um, from the Salesforce side. Let's say we are navigating around um, the interface in Salesforce and we live our day in Salesforce, we see that we do have a new notification bell that um, Hannah has notified um, or has posted a new message in the chat and we get a little alert for that. So um, even if we're navigating away, we can be super responsive and come in here and say, we're on it and um, respond to Hannah instantaneously. Now, from her perspective, um, if we were to go back to the home page, we can see we have our case thread here, and I can quickly navigate into the thread if I want to, or back out to the main page and um, work with the account team uh, broadly. Okay, so we've shown how to, um, Hannah can have a live interaction supported by Slack um, right within the Experience Cloud. That is also supported and shown and um, displayed here in Salesforce and then um, tied into the Slack channel as well. Um, 
again, if we were to look, here we got our threaded discussion um, and can work the case and close it right here in Slack, Salesforce, and keep the customer happy on the Experience Cloud side. That's it. Thanks for watching.